Okay, we're gonna load in an image in Delphi. I'm gonna show you different methods or different ways to use an image. Okay, file new VCL form application. I'm gonna create a new application, add an image component on the form. And I'm going to put a button. So when I click on this button, it's gonna display the image in this image component. So when I click on this, on click, I want to display the image. But first thing is I'm going to save this program in the same folder as the image that I downloaded. Okay, I will use my image Pokemon.jpg, the file extension. I actually check that checkbox over there, file name ext extension so that I can see the file extension. So I'm saving the program in the same folder just to make it easier for myself. Let's go back to the button. On click, I'm going to say image one dot picture dot load from file. Then you will see it will will need the file name. Okay, so it's not only the file name; it actually needs the file name and the file extension. Okay, so the file name, file extension. I can basically copy it, copy it from you. Then I know I uh, I'm not going to make any spelling mistakes or something like that. And it needs to be in single quotation marks. Pokemon.jpg gonna save that and I'm gonna run it now it's gonna give me a syntax error okay it's gonna say unknown picture of file extension dot JPEG okay the reason for that is because we need to add JPEG under the users on top okay. so if we're gonna use a picture we need to add JPEG under the users on top. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, the picture is loaded in. Another thing that you might need is, let's say if the image was too small, like this size. It will not fit into your image component. Okay, so to make it work then there's another property that you can change image one dot stretch equals true so it will stretch it so that it fits into that image component okay now it will fit okay commonly made errors that you can maybe have problems that you can maybe have there is, is for example if you don't have that file extensions on you, f you f might think that it's a jpeg like that but in the meantime it's now saved as jpeg.jpeg okay so make sure that the file extensions is on so that you can see the file extension as well as the file name. Okay, so it's only Pokemon with JPEG. Another shortcut method that you can use maybe if you can't remember the to add the JPEG on top is that we can actually manually load in that image into the image component, then it will automatically add the JPEG for us under the users. So I'm going to make a new one now. Add image component. Then I'm going to go to picture here because I'm going to manually load it in now. So let me just save this program in the same folder as my image again. 
So load, select your image, image, open, okay. You can set the stretch as well here. You will notice that when I run this program, it's going to add the JPEG under the users. See, they added it for me automatically. Okay, so now it's added. Now you can go to your picture. You can clear that image. You will see that it's still there. Now add your button. You want to display it. Now you can say image one dot picture dot load from file. And then your file name in single quotation marks. It's you can type it Pokemon dot JPEG or you can copy it like I did the previous time. Okay, so that's how you load in a, a picture basically into an image component in Delphi. Okay, let's say this image is not saved in the same folder as your Delphi program. So that basically means that I'm going to copy or cut, rather cut this image. I'm going to put it on my desktop so that this, the destination will, will be or the file uh, destination will be different okay so it's not there anymore so if i run it now it will not find that pokemon.jpg file because by default delphi if you don't specify the path it's only going to check for the file or the picture in the same folder as your delphi application or your delphi program so what I need to do now is I need to get the path, the destination of the path of this uh, file. Okay, over here I can see C drive, desktop, C drive, desktop, and then the file name as well. Okay, the file name is going to be. Pokemon to JPEG. Yeah. See users, Delphi desktop, Pokemon or JPEG. That's the file path. And it will work in. So you can basically save this image or picture in different locations. It's just going to make it a little bit more difficult because now then you need to specify the whole path. Whereas if you put it in the same folder, you can just call it by its name and its file extension and it will be loaded in for you.